Hey guys, welcome back to Games and You. This is the sixth part of our Mario Maker playthrough. In the last episode, I tried out three uh, courses, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing the same thing today. So actually, in this episode, I had recorded playing it like two days ago from the upload date today, and I tried to edit it and upload it, actually, and what happened was the um, the audio got messed up or something like that. And so I have to redo it again. So just a quick uh, side note there. I have played these three courses, but I will play them again and show them off for you guys. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is Clown Cars for Everyone by Melissa. The ID is at the bottom here. And the clear rate is 41 clears out of 90 attempts. Wow. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, that's right. Just pretty straightforward, starting off with the clown car already. And I am gonna be like, surrounded by so many enemies in clown cars. Oh jeez. Oh god. Ooh, is that a, is that a... Oh jeez. That was actually really close. Is that a hammer? Or no, not a hammer bro, what is that? It's like a sumo, they call it like sumo something. Oh god. Oh, this is like the boss fight or something? Oh, there's Bowser Jr. Oh, there's a bunch of obstacles. This is it? First try. There we go. That's how it's done. Just pimping out in that clown car there. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's the course. Pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. Got plenty of obstacles. Uh, I love to comment there in the corner. Me in the clown car. But anyways, to the next course. Okay, so this is Awesome 2D Mario's Cool Boat by Wolfrith. And uh, the course ID is at the bottom. And the clear rate is 31 clears out of 111 attempts. Wow. I think I remember this one. This one took me like only one or two tries to beat. Which actually makes me surprised about the clear rate. Here we go. Got my... Firefly ready. Those poor little Goombas just falling to their deaths. Ah, well that would have been useful. Another one come up? Come on, yes. I get rid of that lack. Oh no, he throws coins, that's right. I got nothing to worry about then. And I do got this star, so I'm, I'm pretty good for now. Don't have to worry about no hammer, bro. One up, two ups. I forget, is that? Oh no, that's not the way out. Never mind. Oh, I can't kill wigglers with flowers, that's right. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh! Just use the shell. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Oh, gee. oh, never mind. For a second there, I thought I was gonna be like screwed with those uh, red bullet bills. We got a checkpoint. More one ups. I'll take those. Oh jeez, they have wings now. They'll be dining on that red bull. And there you go, more ones. Oh jeez, I'm gonna miss it. Nah, I'm good. Get up here. Oof. There are a lot of one ups in this stage. Here, get these free coins, and make it to the top. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it right here. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, just have a flower, and you'll be fine. And um, this is like a good course for. Getting some one-ups if you're doing like the uh, 100 Mario Maker challenge. Oh, yeah, I love to comment where since the stage is like Mario's cool boat, I drew him like 
I'm on a boat, like in that music video. And I thought it was funny. No. Nah. Anyways, on to the next course. Okay, so this is Metal Mario's Underground Run by John. Course ID is at the bottom, and 29. Uh, the clear is 29 out of 220. Jeez. I think this one is just like a, a Leap of Faith one. Like, run and just do a Leap of Faith or something like that. Oh yeah, and there are stars. I forgot about that. I should have known. Especially since the course had like the star. Had some stars in the photo. Just keep running. I'm gonna be kind of honest. I really don't have a... I really don't find Leap of Faith. Like, this one- Oh, shit. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Um, I'm not talking about this stage in particular, but like, there's a lot of stages where they just like have a bunch of Leaps of Faith and it just gets like, I don't know, to me they get kind of annoying. I mean, like, this one's fine. I like this one. And what I really don't like are those, like, auto levels. Like, I mean, like, they're really- they can be pretty unique and cool, but it's just like, I want to play like a, re a really challenging or really creative level that you would see like in the Nintendo Mario game. Not just like me standing and waiting for um, the course to be over so I can just keep going on with my Mario Maker. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I had it too. I freaking had that. But yeah, like just going on with my Mario Maker, um, like the Mario, like 100 Mario Man Challenge or whatever. It's like, I don't know. They should like have a filter for that kind of stuff. But that's just that's just my opinion. I mean, like it, I don't I don't think it's very negative or anything like that. It's just like I don't really know how to describe it. But anyways, let's see if I can make it this time without screwing up again. I jumped away too early. I jumped away too early. Jesus. Look at all those axes. Those things are moving fast, too. Those, like, little rails. I killed the hammer, bro, in this sun. I'm gonna run by these thwomps. Kill a couple of boos. Kill the little spiny guys. Bows. Okay, I almost screwed up again. <laughs> but there we go, that's the end of that level. I wonder what music I have my volume off right now, so you don't hear it on the mic. I wonder, um, I mean, I drew a cop go fast. It's Metal Mario all shiny. Um, but back to what I was saying. I wonder what Metal Mario's like victory theme is. Like Metal Mario and Gold Mario, I wonder if it's like the same as normal Mario this is, um like victory theme. Anyways, that was a fun course. I'm gonna exit there. Okay, so here's two three haunted resort by Sefu. Um of course it is at the bottom and uh clear it is fifty clears out of two hundred and eighty attempts. Wow. So normally I was gonna do like only three courses, but those are actually all really short and pretty easy. So I have time to do like at least one more, one or two more. So let's try uh, Seth's course right here. Nice, bro. Good job. I feel like I was supposed to go that way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get a little P switch here. And then I guess, do I go in here or can I go up there? What's up there? Japanese letters are up there. Uh, we gotta, oh, jeez. Can I not go down here? Oh, do I have to let go of this thing? No? Oh, jeez. Where do I go from here, then? Do I go... Oh. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I wish I didn't screw up and lose my mushroom, though. Alright, so I guess I choose my own way. Aha! Found it. Clocks are amazing. 
¿Qué? Oh, jeez, I almost hit that boo. Is there an invisible block here? No, another P-switch. What does this do? Do I have to take this with me? Okay, maybe, maybe I have to take, yeah, I guess I have to take this with me. And do I go this, oh jeez, do I go this way? Will I be needing it? Oh, okay. Alright, that's cool. Uh, what's with those booze? Can I, oh god. Mushroom? Oh, cape. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. I just hope I don't lose it real fast. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's another P-switch. Man, I can't kill the boo with my cape. Oh, okay, I can go up here to avoid him at least. Oh, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. That really scared me. Um, where do I go from here? Can I go down here? And this is, this is like a, I'm getting like lost everywhere. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh. Okay, so there's the exit. Maybe if I use the cape, yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Alright, that was awesome. That was like... That really made me like have to be careful or think smart of when I should use the P-switches and what path I should have taken. Yeah, that was a really fun course. I'm gonna leave a comment. <laughs> I drew like a ranchy boo and a P-switch. <laughs> I think that came out great. But um, anyways, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. If you like what you saw, be sure to like this video. And uh, comment if you want me to do your Mario Maker level and stay subscribed to us for more updates. And I will see you later. So thanks, thanks again for watching.